Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good morning to all. Uh, this is a uh, EMM three four two. Okay, so my name is uh, Dr Ahmad Zafran. Okay, okay for this subject, uh, actually you already uh, meet me in uh, previous semester. Okay, so for this semester, I will teach you on the the subject noise and vibration but my part is on the vibration lah okay so i think most of you since you are mechanical engineering student i think uh, most of you already know me lah because i already teach you last semester on the epp331 subject okay okay so uh okay just a little bit introduction okay so basically, uh, this is actually my expertise, uh, okay, on the vibration. So uh, I'm doing my degree in Japan, and after that, I'm working uh, at Proton in uh, for two years before I join USM to uh, do a master and PhD study, lah, uh, okay, and then uh, got a lecturer at MC Science Malaysia, okay. So, uh, this is my expertise actually, is uh, all related to vibration and also control, uh, okay? And later on, you will also meet me in the AC subject, uh, automatic control, okay? So, this is my email, okay? Anything, you can just email me or later on, I will explain on the online teaching method where uh, we can create a group, okay? Using the telegram and we can com communicate through that uh, medium, uh, okay? Okay, so this uh, subject uh, will divide into two parts, okay, vibration and noise, okay. I will cover the first seven weeks, okay, and Dr. Uyi Luyen will cover the next seven weeks lah on the noise, okay. So for my part, okay, on the vibration, there are three, okay, uh, cost outcome. Okay, the first one, okay, uh, at the end of the study, you should able to determine the vibration response for the single degree of freedom system, okay? So, uh, what is single degree of freedom system, okay? Maybe I just can show you a little bit, okay? Okay, so, uh, basically, for the single degree of freedom system, okay, we have a, a mass, okay? spring and also the damper system lah okay so this is the mass this is the spring this, this is the dam damper okay so basically there are case where we have a dam and also there the case where we don't have the dam okay so later on we'll, uh, we will experience and we learn more lah okay okay so this is a basically a single degree of freedom okay where basically we have like a analytical model we have like one point connected to the fixed structure like this okay okay so students should be understand the response in terms of displacement velocity and acceleration nah, okay so when we have the system okay we have the uh, vibration nah, okay vibration it can be in terms of acceleration okay velocity or displacement nah, okay so you have to know how to generate this output okay basically and the next one is on the uh, you should be able to calculate the natural frequency mode shape okay for the two degree freedom or multi degree freedom system okay so for the two degree freedom okay uh, you have of course this one is uh, only one mass and one spring for the two degree freedom, you have the okay uh, two mass okay and two spring okay so you also you will calculate the output okay the response uh, okay so this is one degree okay one DOF this is two degree uh, okay basically when you know the two degree freedom system when you can derive basically you can also know when we have the addition of the mass or spring system in this diagram okay so the next one is also uh, related to two degree freedom system 
where the cost outcome number three, you should be able to design the tune vibration absorber or dynamic vibration absorber, DVA. Okay, system. Eh? So basically, uh, for the two degree of freedom system, all these two will generate the vibration. Lah. But for the DVA, the second part of the system will be the DVA. Okay, where it can absorb the vibration. Lah. Basically, when you have a response of the system like this. Okay. And for the DVA, uh, you will have a response, okay, that will reduce the vibration, lah, okay, it's before and after. Okay, so basically that's the general overview on the, uh, our cost outcome, lah, okay. So the next one is uh, on the, okay, so basically you can, if for this, uh, textbook okay if you have uh, the ebook also is okay it's fine okay so this is the book that basically uh, will be the reference uh, okay so basically during the face-to-face -face class uh, you need to bring all of this uh, paper notes pencil and calculator because we have some activities in the class okay but somehow in online uh, it's not necessary yeah, because you can uh, repeat to view the video okay so with every all the material will be uploaded in the e-learning website after the class ah, okay i will upload the slide first but the video basically after the is available ah, okay okay so for the total cost evaluations okay so basically uh, uh there's no final exam okay for the subject okay because we are moving towards the longer period of uh uh, li training okay and basically i think starting is will start uh, slowly but later on maybe all the three years okay three uh, i mean the third year subject on the second semester will be 100 percent coursework because we want to allow for the long longer period of uh, li okay so uh it's a hundred percent coursework okay divide by 50 and 50 where 50 percent for my part and another 50 percent from the dr we we part okay for this my part they will be divided by two individual tasks and also the group okay so for the individual we will have a test number one okay at the end of the first half and the quiz number one and two which related to the first ceo and the second ceo lah, okay Okay, so this test will cover 50%, quiz we divide by 2, 5 and 5%. Okay, so group, okay, 25% where you will have the assignment number 1 on the course account number 2 where you need to generate the response of 2D graph system using the MATLAB and Smully, okay, software. The second one is uh, DVA, okay, which 10%, okay, on the project report DVA. And the final one is on the uh, just a report, okay, literature report on the single degree of freedom system, okay, 5%. This is mostly on the first cost outcome, lah, okay. So each cost outcome will have a assignment, group assignment, lah, okay. This cost outcome number one, uh, DBA cost outcome number three, and this one cost outcome number two, okay. It's a total marks of uh, uh, 50%, okay? Okay, so for this subject, this is the overall syllabus, okay? The first one is on the introduction to vibration, okay? The two-day lectures, okay? The next uh, lecture will be on the single degree of freedom system, okay? Where we divide by five category, which is five uh, free undamped vibration, free dampered vibration, okay? We, we call, only consider a viscous damping, okay. Uh, force undamped vibration, okay. Force damped vibration, and finally the base excitation and rotating ambulance mass, okay. Okay, so uh, what I have explained before, okay. Uh, okay, so this is the case of free undamped vibration where for the free undamped vibration where you have a mass and spring only they no damping lah 
but if we have considered the, the dam so we it become a free damper vibration okay for the free case there are no uh, force acting okay it's just a response here okay but for the force it have the f okay okay for the force for the force we have the excitation force but for the free okay it's a freely vibrate lah, okay okay so uh for the base excitation and rotating ambulance mass, okay, the force generated is come from the base excitation, okay, and another one is come from the rotating ambulance mass, okay, okay, we will see the example more after this, uh, okay. So this is the case for the two degree of freedom system, okay, where we can find the natural frequency and mode shapes, okay. So basically, if we draw it by point here, point number one, point number two, so basically later on we can uh get the mode shape lah how it's vibrate okay to the left and to the right okay how it vibrate and how the mode shape okay so for the first de uh, single degree is quite difficult to get the different mode shape but for the two degree of freedom we see we have a two points okay this uh can generate a uh, different shapes lah, okay and finally uh, of course the dba yeah, okay okay so for the next this is all the overall teaching schedule okay for my part okay for today class uh, it's just introduction and for the first week we cover uh, the first and second week we cover the single degree of freedom system okay free force and then and also and then vibration uh, the third week we go to the example of base excitation and rotating ambulance mass for the single degree of freedom system and finally we will conduct the uh, practical on the how you can draw the uh, diagram using the matlab and simulating software okay so basically this will be your report number one here okay on the base excitation and rotating ambulance mass okay and this is will be the assignment number one okay okay the group and after that after finish the single degree freedom we will have a simple quiz lah number one eh? the online quiz okay so after that in week four we start going to the two degree of freedom system to find the natural frequency and more shapes okay and after that we will uh, go to the force vibration okay this is free and this is force vibration okay and finally at the week number five okay hopefully we can finish the dva lah by week number five okay because uh, we will deliver the project number one instruction here okay where you have a remaining of two weeks to complete the project group huh? and for the week number six also we have a simple quiz okay to cover on the two degree of the system and i have another one lectures on the revision okay and also the research opportunity lah, where we explain some a little bit on the opportunity of research that you will conduct during your final semester uh, final year lah, later on okay and later on you will given the time to complete your project okay before we conduct the online test uh, by week seven okay where we eight you already have uh your mid sem break okay so this is the some of motivation why you need to learn okay as an engineer why you need to learn vibration okay because vibration in machine and structure are typically undesired okay and they will produce stress okay energy loss and also the increase uh, any loads uh, to the structure and finally it can uh, the structure will be collapsed uh, basically eh? uh, so then they will contribute also the structure wear okay reduce accuracy in measurement okay and this is what you have learned also in the EPP okay when you have a machine when the floor is vibrate so any of fabrication or measurement that you do okay they will uh, reduce the accuracy lah okay and also it can lead to the passenger discomfort in vehicle lah of course when you ride your car okay and there is a very uncertainty vibration then you will feel the discomfort okay okay so basically they are the desire and undesired vibration okay for example the good vibration okay 
such as mobile phone okay when you put in silent modes and uh, vibrate mode so you will alert if there is some notification come in okay the jackhammer uh there are two sides lah basically when you do the vibration to as a function of your job okay like the jackhammer you, you can uh do some of the construction uh, works uh of course it will give the benefit lah okay and also the exercise key massage equipment concrete shaker vibration shaker for some of the testing okay so uh, you can later on view this youtube okay on the jackhammer uh, uh how it works okay and also of course there are some undesired okay the bad one for example the car engine okay the, the noise and the vibration come from the car engine okay aircraft structure okay when the turbulence and anything when you on your airplane okay you feel uh, unsecure the high precision machine okay the one that i explained before okay the bridge okay uh swing in the building and also the rust streamer lah, because of course you will you will construct uh, you will do the uh the grass cutting but later on you will transfer to your hand and the, you will have some shaking hand lah basically eh? so maybe i can show you this the bridge on the real incident that happened okay where the bridge collapsed due to due to the uh resonance lah, okay vibration eh? but this one i need to to silent it because it will disturb the the lecture lah. okay this so this basically this is the Tacoma bridge okay it's a real phenomena that happened where it's a 1940 yeah, is a long way ago where there's a, a uh, wind okay uh, that we call it a wind uh, it's a flow induced vibration lah okay where the wind when it's flown it have uh, have the similar frequency as the uh, natural frequency of the bridge okay when it hit is this natural frequency so the uh, bridge will vibrate eh, and it cannot be stopped lah, because it hit the natural frequency and nothing can stop it until it's collapsed lah. so this is a real one of the real phenomena lah, that happened uh, previously okay so you later on you can see it's more detail then okay okay so of course from that you can give some of examples of a good and bad vibration okay you can also justify your example this is some of the example of the maybe some question that can be asked later on lah, okay in your quiz or test okay so definition what is uh, defined of vibration lah, okay basically it's understood of the oscillation between an equilibrium problem uh, equilibrium point eh? so we can take the simple example of the pendulum okay okay for the pendulum case okay so if you have a pendulum okay for example eh? Okay, so usually it's understood as equation between an equilibrium point lah, from, from this point to this point and any motion that repeat okay itself after an interval of time is called vibration lah, okay so the pendulum will vibrate from here to this point and it will repeat so basically it's a it's called a vibration lah that's, that's just a simple example that uh, can be given to you so it can view as a flow uh, flow between the kinetic energy and potential energy lah, where you can transfer this the blue one and the red one lah, okay it's just a, what you have learned before in the dynamics eh, where you can have a kinetic energy and potential energy of the dynamic movement of the the any of structure lah, okay so basically vibration can be classified as a free force vibration okay where in, there is no excitation force and there is excitation force dampened 
and undamped, which you know uh, have uh, damping and no damping, okay. Linear and non-linear vibration, okay, okay, where we like a uh, vibration of the structure when we already can expect the output, okay, where we you push something with the force, okay, and then it will uh, vibrate lah, as what you want, okay, or any of thing that you can control it. But non-linear vibration is something that you cannot predict the vibration, okay. So uh, this is very uncertainty lah. Okay, so deterministic vibration and also the random vibration lah. Okay, deterministic is basically the same, have the same pattern all away, and the random is basically there's no specific patterns lah. Okay. Okay, so for the free vibration, okay, it will vibrate by its own. Okay, it's no external force acts on the system. Okay, for example, when you put the ruler and then you uh, put your finger down and then it will vibrate freely lah, okay but for the force vibration it's subject to the external force like uh, we have a motor this a uh, tool brush you have a motor the motor will excite the force to vibrate the the tool brush lah, okay and often a repeat repeating time of a of, of a force lah. basically anything that have a motor it have a excitation excitation force lah, okay so the undamped vibration, there is no energy loss, okay, or dissipate. Okay, the amplitude is maintained all the way, okay. But for the damped vibration, okay, is a uh, energy loss through the resistance, lah. Okay, like you have a damping, okay, that can absorb the vibration. So it's like a friction, for example, okay. So basically, the vibration will reduce in time. So this is linear and non-linear vibration, okay. So basically, the red one is a linear, lah. okay. What well, you already can plot a linear graph that is basically a linear vibration response. Also, so all the components such as the spring, mass, and damping behave linearly, okay. But this case, uh, the non-linear vibration, okay. If one of more component of the system are not linearly uh, vibrate when and the response is become non-linear lah. Okay, for example, if you have a single degree of linear system, okay, like a mass, right? okay, mass, uh, spring, okay. So basically, for the when you give the force here, it will be the uh, vibration lah. For example, there is some of the disturbance or what we call the hard stop here, okay. So when it's going up, okay, the mass is vibrate, is vibrate like this, eh? okay. So let's say we put some of the disturbance here or hard stop that uh, prevent the move of the mass. So suddenly it become sort of non-linear lah, okay. Some sort of the hard stop that prevent is going to the maximum amplitude like this. So this is some kind of the non-linear vibration lah, okay. So also the next one is on the deterministic vibration, okay, if the value or magnitude of the excitation acting on the system is known, okay, so we know already, okay, the output, but undeterministic is something that we cannot be predict, yeah, okay, okay, it's a random vibration, okay. Okay, so we come to the vibration main terminology, okay, so this is the wave, okay, the simple wave, and this is one complete cycle, okay, so frequency is a cycle per second lah, okay, this is unit of frequency, is a, I think most of you already know this, okay, 1 over t, okay, this is one complete cycle, okay, it can be measured using the hertz, if you need the f, it's in hertz lah, okay, but where it's convert to omega is a 2 pi multiplied by f frequency the unit we convert to radian per second okay so just be alert when come to quick to the question maybe it's given unit in terms of hertz and radian per second you need to convert it properly yeah okay so this is the lambda the complete one cycle of the uh, wavelength okay the amplitude okay so for the amplitude itself there's some of different Term where we have a peak here from uh, origin to peak called peak 
from the positive to the negative peak we call it peak to peak and it's also have the two uh, uh, more specific terms on the rms root mean square or the average peak yeah average vibration sorry okay so the distance moved by the point on the vibration of the body okay from the here, point here to this point here like the pendulum, pendulum case and measured from its uh, equilibrium position lah okay so the another terminology on the degree of freedom okay this is a number of independent okay in the independent or coordinates required to describe the motion of the system okay but i have drawn before is a single we have a single degree or two degree of freedom okay the system will fi uh, finite number of degree of freedom called discrete or lump parameter system lah. those which are uh, infinite numbers of degree of freedom are called continuous and distributed system okay this is some cases okay where if have a one movement only okay one direction of movement only okay is called a single degree of freedom okay where is come a, we have a two mass and we have a two different movement so it's called a two degree of freedom or multi degree of freedom lah okay okay so for the periodic motion okay defined as any motion that repeat after equal intervals lah. so this is the undeterministic okay okay like this Okay, but somehow at the certain point it's repeat the same motion. Eh? Okay, so it called predict lah. Okay, like your heartbeat. Eh? It's a predict motion uh, signal lah. Unless sometimes there's some of the un uh, the, the specific condition that make your heartbeat like your suddenly you nervous everything then it's not become uh, a predict signal lah. Okay, like in the steady motion you will have a predict signal okay this is the appropriate signal where there's no repeated motion uh, is a different motion in time okay so this example okay the heartbeat the predict motion okay the piston movement pendulum okay the appropriate motion like when you jogging okay sometimes you have to uh, change your speed or everything and also when you are playing uh, skateboarding okay of course it's a non-uniform okay motion okay some of the vibration elements that i have shown before okay vibration exists when it has a a mean of storing potential energy from the spring okay okay what you have draw before here okay we have a spring here and then a means of uh, storing kinetic energy the mass okay this is the spring, the mass, okay. And also means that why which the energy is gradually lost. Lah. If you add the damping here, okay, the C, so of course the vibration will be reduced lah, in time, okay. So the force acting on the vibration system are usually external force, okay. Here, F, okay. It's been come from mechanical movement, aerodynamics, okay, the flow, like you have, uh, I show in the uh, previous video, okay, hydrodynamic, okay, when from, for example, from the dam, from the water, okay, it also can induce the vibration, okay, restoring force from the stiffness, okay, okay, F equal to K over X, okay. And initial force F M A K and damping force ah, K uh, damping C velocity ah. So basically, this is the the all this uh, uh, force acting okay, on the vibration. Okay, uh, it can be uh, induced force. It can also absorb the the force ah. For example, the damping. Eh. Okay. Okay, so this is some guideline provided to you on how you can solve the problem when given the single degree of freedom. For example, okay, you should know how to draw this free body diagram. Okay, here like this. Is it one degree of freedom? Okay, is it of uh, free force? Okay, is it have a, a free vibration, force vibration? 
clearly label the force and all the parameters here okay the direction positive or negative okay the force m c k everything show the equation of motion based on second newton second law after this i will explain to you how to uh, derive the equations write the final answer okay uh, and given the value of m c k if they are if the question asks okay okay keep the numerical values to significant figures okay for the problems okay that your answer so it's become more accurate okay so maybe you can draw a box for your final answer okay you, or you can underline to to show that it's your final answer lah, okay okay so just some information for you so of course for this semester the teaching and learning will be conducted online okay as a brief by the school and the student need to join our telegram group lah, okay I already uh, put the invitation link in the e-learning website. Okay, so please, everybody, please join. Yeah, I think we have about 90 students here. So please join for the latest information. Lah, okay, because basically, sometimes uh, some of you have uh, difficulties in to access the internet, but I think the telegram should be a better uh, medium. Lah, okay and then a group formation okay so for the subject students are allowed to choose your own teammates for the submission of group assessment eh? such as report project and assignments is covered 25 marks eh? for my part so the group leader can fill in his or her teammates as given link in the e-learning website so uh, please access the link okay the excel link and uh, please uh, fill in your group members lah, okay the deadline for this group formation is on this friday okay coming friday 26 of march by 5 pm after then that if i see any of you that still have no groups so i will assign it randomly lah, okay so i have give you a chance so you can create your own group but if you don't then i will assign for you lah, okay Okay, so I think that's all for today. Thank you very much. If you have any question, you can always uh, ask in the te Telegram or you can just comment to the this YouTube uh, comments area. Lah, okay, thank you very much. Okay.